Hey everybody, it's Ray, and today I'm going to show you how to update your PS3 to System Firmware 4.46. This is an update that fixes a problem that came up with last week's update firmware 4.45, which bricked some uh, PS3 consoles. So if your PS3 was bricked last week or rendered useless, um, this is a fix. Um, I didn't update because I saw the problems so I am still under an older firmware update so here I'm gonna update to 4.46 so we're gonna go over to settings and update via internet okay I'm gonna hit OK version 4.46 yeah 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 and accept okay it says you can now select whether to show a notification when you earn a trophy while playing a game. You can adjust the setting under settings, system settings, trophy notifications. And we're gonna update. So, how do you fix your bricked PS3? If your system was bricked by version 4.45. First, you will need a USB drive with at least 168 megabytes of free space. Um, you should check if your PS3 is uh, either CECHA00 slash CECHB00 series model, or you can use a memory stick, um, SD card, memory card, and compact flash. Okay, so step two. Create a folder named PS3 on the storage, media, or USB drive. So that's PS3, all caps. Within the PS3 folder, create a folder named UPDATE in all caps. Using your computer, click the following hyperlink to begin downloading system software 4.46. I'll include that in the description bar below. Step 5. Download the update from the webpage and save it to the update folder that you just made before so it should be the location should be ps3 then update and then the ps3 update file which is called ps3 updat.pup okay if you don't save it like that um, and you don't use all uppercase in your folder names the ps3 may not recognize it okay step two activate safe mode Okay, with the PS3 off, power light should be red. Touch and hold the power button. You will hear the first beep indicating that the PS3 is powering on. Continue to hold the power button. After approximately 5 seconds, you will hear a second beep. Step 3. Continue to hold the power button, and after 5 more seconds, you'll hear a third beep. And the system will power off. The power light goes red. Step 4, release power button. Step 5, touch and hold the power button. You will hear the first beep again for PS3 power on. Step 6, continue to hold and after approximately 5 seconds you will hear the second beep for video reset. Step 7, continue to hold and after 5 seconds you will hear a quick double beep. At that point, release the power button. Step 8. If you succeeded in activating safe mode, you will see a message on screen saying connect the controller using a USB cable and then press the PS button. Step 9. Connect the controller to the PS3 with a USB cable. Okay. And then finally, manually updating your PS3 software. 1. Connect the, soft, connect the storage media to PS3 system. 2. Select system update and press X. Step 3, press start and select at the same time. Step 4, the PS3 system will restart and recognize the update file in the storage media. Step 5, press right on the D-pad to scroll through the update description and user agreement. And step 6, press X to confirm the update. And then finally, lastly, step 7, the system will now install the new system software and restart automatically upon completion. There's a lot of steps. I'm going to leave all the necessary info in the description bar below. And uh, hopefully that fixes your bricked PS3. If your PS3 got bricked.
Okay, so the update has now been completed. If I go over to settings, go over to system settings, click system settings, okay, you will be able to check what firmware you are on by going down to system information. If you hit X, I'm just going to obscure my IP address for a second, okay, if you hit X, you will see version 4.46 okay hope that helped you out um, if you like this video add to favorites give it a thumbs up share it to Facebook and Twitter and don't forget to subscribe I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching